Okay, guys, it's time for Friday Night Live. That means a few of my friends are going to join me tonight. That means I don't know who they're going to be, but we're going to play a game. And those that get the number correct, or I don't know, Matt just likes it to be a race. Matt just likes to say whoever gets in first. So I hope you've all had a really wonderful week. I know that I was here on Wednesday. Matt's here. Hello. Abby's here. And uh, we were here Wednesday and um, we were also here Sunday. And um, anyway, this coming Sunday, two days, we're gonna start a new piece of furniture. So I'm gonna have Matt get my armoire in here. I've got a new armoire. Hello, Lolly. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Carrie Carter. Uh, I actually, I got to paint today. I got to work on the sky on this one behind me. Uh, I still have a lot of work to do on the on the bottom part, but I got the sky done and then I finished this one over there. That was the one that we started on Sunday and I finished it up. Um, hello, Shaz and Julie and Karen Brown. Hi, guys. My Michelle is here. So today was a big day. I announced inside my Creative Connection all of the information about our uh, art retreat, which is a brand new thing that we're doing this year for 20 peeps, and then our Creative Connection retreat. So I announced all of that. Um, so it's a big day. Lots of fun stuff coming up for 2021. Um, Cheryl Atkinson, how are you? I received some fun, something fun in the mail today, and I'm going to show you in just a minute. Matt, do you have questions? I have some questions. Are they good ones? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, Kathleen, I was just listening to you in the Creative Connection group, and I'm absorbing it all. I'm so glad. Thank you. There are four, almost four years worth of information in there, so take your time. Pace yourself. <laughs> Laura, hi, Derek. Laura's here. Libby, I've got some hot tea. You guys, i got to make sure my hot... I've been talking all day. Mm. Hello, Rachel and Heather Watson and Janet Fowler. How have you been at the boot camp? I miss you, too. I miss you and I'll see you next weekend. So exciting. You love the questions each week. Julie Moores, thank you. We got we went to the book and then we have a fun bonus question. I've got a piece of paper and a, a Sharpie and I would love to know who's gonna be joining me. So while you're popping on, I wanna show you a neat gift that one of you on here right now, Miss Carol Kylie, made for me. So she messaged me a while back and she said, I want to make you some turquoise velvet um, bell, bell bottoms. Look at these, you guys. Look at these. They fit wonderful. Hey, Rob. Hi, Juana. There's passionate pigment, Tony Cribs. So they're really wide at the bottom. They're flat front and they came in the mail today and she made them for me and gifted them to me. They're so cute. So cute. You know what? I am a girl that loves a wide leg pant. But how thoughtful and special. Um, they're just, they're so beautifully done. And I, I don't know, guys, it just, Carol, you made me feel so special. And I appreciate you so much. They're, they feel fabulous. When I put them on, I'm like, woo, yes. I need some, I need some tall heels. I may have mom hem them just a little bit because I don't usually wear heels too often. But I can put some wedges on now. I can handle the wedges. Uh, but that was so very special. I just want to say, Thank you, Michelle. You're going to want them. Kathy Anderson, hi. I love bell bottoms too. I love a uh, wide leg. They're they're more of like a, no, they're a bell. They're a bell. They just don't fit me real snug. What, baby? Janet Fowler says, uh, she's got a boot camp. Boot camp is no joke. Going back to the hotel, be back in a few. <laughs> yeah. There's Carol Kylie right there. I appreciate you and this whole group. Carol. Thank you. We love our pants. Uh, Kathleen Rose has question. Do I tend to have StreamYard on my phone to get in on your live? Mm -mm. No, it's not anything you put on your phone, Kathleen. The way that you do it, if you want to join me for Friday Night Live, is you copy and paste that link. You copy that link that I post, and then you paste it into your browser. So it's not an app or anything, but and those of you that have come on, you might you might give her a better explanation of it. Um, we called those elephant legs back in the day. <laughs> Matt wants pants too, says Crystal. How'd you know? It lets it see you. Your name will show. Okay, Heather, thank you for, for helping. Heather, who has never joined me. <laughs> one Heather day, knows, one day, but she's gonna, never joined me. How many times have we talked about just going to her house and showing up for a Friday Night Live? 
we are coming for you, Heather. And Watson. you will never know when all we the do. dogs are going to bark. And I'm not going to care. All the dogs are going to bark and I'm not going to care. I'm going to be like, move over, Golden. You're my new bestie coming in <laughs> or she's coming out. Let's get your swag on, Donetta, for sure. Hmm. Paste it to your Safari browser. That's what I've done. Hello, hello, Delisa. Okay, let's get our first guest, guest up here. I uh, see you, Jessica. Uh, hopefully Heather's laughing and she doesn't think that we're serious, right? Because she's probably laughing and she's like, oh, they're so full of Oh, this. she's laughing now. They'll love me. I, they will love me, Heather, because I'll love me some good goldens. I don't care if there are five or six of them. I'm going to be like, love me. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, Michelle? She's wanting to make sure she comes. I'm sure. Or wait a minute, wait a minute. Why? Wait before I pull someone up. I would participate, but still have ancient bone and daughter is out. Ah, oh, that's all right, Lolly. What's my hat say? My hat says Beach and Barn. It's my favorite clothing company. Uh, they started in Wilmington, North Carolina, but now they have retailers all over. I don't know why I fell in love with them about four or five years ago, Matt. Beach and Barn. Yeah, about. it's been about four yeah. or five years ago. Yeah. Um, we all wear it. Um, all right, on your mark, between one and fifty. Your number is go. Hi, MK, Mary Kay. Guess what is still open? Oh, my Michelle, thank you for reminding guys. You have 48 hours if you want to get into my creative art group. Um, I've had guests come in like Anissa Perry, we've had Quita Allen of All Shabbed Out, we've had um, Natasha of um, Antonia Remington. Um, who else, guys? We've had so many guests. So many guests come in. I've had Kelly Weiler of Girl Upcycled. I've had Kristen Calhoun of She Paints. Keep going. So every month, have a guest. Um, keep going between 1 and 50. If you're guessing, you better be ready to come on here. Or if you just like to play, just to say, I won. No, I don't want to win. Get close. Oh, we're getting close, you guys. Between one and 50. Mary Catherine. Oh, I bet that was an oopsie. Oh, now she's going through the alphabet. Mm, 11, so 12, close. 13, 14, so 15. Close. MK wants to come on. She's going to she's gonna get it the way she's going. We are streaming on Facebook and YouTube. So the first person, oh, we got it. Wait. Yep. Someone got it, right? Yep. Lolly, Lolly. Lolly did? Lolly for Jill. Lolly for Jill. Jill, Jill Nolan, I think, is who she wants to Wait, get on there. Where do you see? There it is. Yep. Are you sure it's not Lo Lisa? I see Lisa. Oh, there's Lolly. Lisa posted right after Lolly. Who's Jill? Jill Nolan, maybe? Come on down, Everybody's Jill. Everybody's voting for Jill. So Let's we, go. We Jill on here. All right, it's 29. Right here. Right here. Right yeah. Right yeah. Okay, so let me post my link and hopefully. Is it Jill Nolan? I don't know. I don't know the is, Nolan. Is that who Jill is? She's our new friend. <laughs> yes, I think it is Jill Nolan. Okay, there's the link. It's posting right now, you all. We have like a storm rolling in. It is the wind is blowing the trees sideways right now. Lolly? Yes, Jill Nolan. Jill Nolan. Jill Nolan? Come on down. Jill it is 29. Nolan. It is 29. It is. Um, so the Creative Connection membership is still open for about 48 hours. I decided to extend it a little bit longer because we went through an Easter weekend. Um, and I know that people were traveling and some people just um, were having, we have tornadoes around tonight, sirens. Michelle. That's cool. Ah, oh, is it that time? You think it, you missed it by a smidge. You were almost there. So close, but no cigar. So close, you guys. But don't worry, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it three more times. So Jill, I need you to click that link, walk yourself through it, and then we're going to get, um, we're going to get moving on to someone else. I will so let you guys when know. She, when, when she clicks the link, mm -hmm. what happens? So it just depends on what kind of phone she has or how um, updated it is. Because like Lolly says, it doesn't work for her. So what she does is um, she can cop she copies the StreamYard link that I put in here. 
and then she paste it into her browser. Like at the top of your phone, mm -hmm. you paste it and then search it. And then it will say da da da, and it'll ask you to type your name in. Thank you so much, Lori Sawyer. I'm ready to have you on, sister. Yeah, stay safe, Mommy Show. Hopefully it doesn't knock out her internet. On, on she was the, having computer issues all week. On the interwebs. Uh, Michelle, do you have an do you have a storm shelter in your garage? The Safari browser. It has to be on Safari. Jill Nolan says, Hi, I am trying. My phone is blocking access. That's so rude, right, Jill? I'm so sorry. We're just supposed to get one inch hail. Right now, nothing has happened, but we were supposed to. You don't have one, Michelle? Oh. I like Donata Bay Tommy. We're supposed to get one inch hail. You just said that. I just read her. I know. Comment. But I'm sitting there thinking, just. Just one inch hail. Yeah, it's just one inch. It's not a big deal. Not around here. We can get softball size hail. Oh, oh, Carol Ann, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, Cheryl Atkinson is a mess. I'm sorry. Settings, Jill, allow camera and audio. Lolly, you're helping Jill. You've never had a storm shelter at the time. Barbara, Barbara, honey, I'm going to miss you next week. Love you. Yeah, that's right. The sirens are going off. Oh, no. Not cool. This house doesn't have us underground. This house has the storm shelter next above door. Ground. It's above ground. It's like we walk in, it's like a cement block <laughs> with a metal steel door. With really thick walls and I'm like you mean I have to go outside to get in it but I still think it's better than going underground like we used to I'm wondering do you think we could get we could like do a show from our, our store shelter if we have service we certainly can that would be kind of fun I know Barbara honey I'm so sorry a safe room yeah it's a safe room but it's an exterior and I really wish they had built it inside but I think it's one of those that came later Yes, Mama. Mama has an underground bunker too. Okay, um, I'm going to let Jill keep working and let's get try to get somebody else up. Uh, so Jill, I'm not giving up on you, honey. I just want you to keep working. When you get into the, the it's called like the waiting room, you're in the broadcasting room, just stay right there and don't leave if you get in, okay? So let's do this again. Let's do this again. Uh, now pick a number between 50 and 100. On your market set, go. Here, baby. Uh, On your market set, go. Yeah, got it. Um, what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the bedroom closet? I, I don't, I don't know. Is that right? What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the bedroom closet? I don't know. I don't either. Wait, oh, wait, we're wait. waiting on the answer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Between fifty and a hundred. Fifty and a hundred. All right. 50 we're gonna we're gonna work let Jill keep working getting in here and um Rob I like how you asked my mom she's still she's still not raising her hand to come on she's um, kind of a scaredy cat she is a scaredy cat she, she works really she's all, she thinks she's all big and brave but she's not does she she worked really hard today and painted Elijah's bathroom so she's wiped out she did paint start to finish today keep going keep going Oh, Karen Brown. Karen Brown on the Facebooks. 61. Boom. I didn't 61. See her. She's on Facebook. I know. Still see it. Karen Brown, you coming on? You missed it. I missed Karen Brown. I... Marilyn says, I'll show you brave. Yeah, that sounds like a whole lot of. Uh, All right, click it, Mom. Lot click of, the yeah, link, Mom. Click the link, Marilyn. Oh, tell Matt to reread it. Mirna, Mirna says re, 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 I would have to, re, I would have to refine it. <laughs> oh, tornadoes are bad. Not much of a warning. We have hurricanes. So, um, Karen Brown guessed it. It was 61. Mom, she's saying, I'll show you brave. Buddy. Show me brave. brave. But... Click the link, mom. Come on. Yes. I have some questions for you, Marilyn. And not anyone that I have written down. Oh, please. There are four. There are special Maryland questions. Jill Nolan. Okay, Karen, stay in the waiting room right there, okay? Because Jill Nolan's coming on. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Sorry it took so long. <laughs> never a problem. Like, never, ever, ever. Tell me where you are. What do you do? Shreveport, Louisiana. 
Shreveport, Louisiana. And what yes. do you do for a living, Jill? A mom, wife. You're a mom and a wife. How many Our children? Jobs right there. Yeah, it is. How many children do you have, Jill? Um, I've got two. One of them still at home. Okay. Super. Yes. Super yes, wise. I watch you all the time. I've just never been um, where you could see that I was there. I did had all my settings wrong. <laughs> oh, well, I'm so glad we have this figured out. And I'm glad that your friends nominated you. Great. How do you know Miss Lolly Lolly? Um, I do not. I've seen her um, in the feeds when I've been watching you before. But um, but I don't know her, know her at all. Super. Well, she's special if you ever get to know her. Absolutely. Yes, <laughs> I appreciate that. Do you want to play our game and ask and answer some questions tonight? Uh, sure. Okay. So we do like four random questions just for us to know about you that are fun. And then we do a bonus question. So at okay. the end of the show, we will announce the winner and then we'll send you some free paint. Okay. Okay, cool. Go for it. First Great. question. Do you paint? I do paint. What do you paint? Um, everything. I met a friend recently who does um, all kinds of arts and crafts and just whatever's trending at the time. And um, she introduced me to all of this. So anything that's happening on Pinterest, I am doing. <laughs> that's so smart. Now, do you sell your work? I do not. Not yet. Okay. So you're just doing it for fun right now. Yes. Just for fun. Just for fun and family. Fun and family. You think that yep. you may ever decide to turn it into a business or anything? Yes, absolutely. I love redoing furniture. So that's kind of how I started. And I would love to make that a business one day. Okay. We will that's, see. That's pretty cool. Those well, are all really good answers. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but here, here, here is the first question. Okay. What, what is in your perfect trail mix? What, oh, gosh. What perfect tra perfect what, trail if mix. If you had a perfect trail mix out there and you were to make it, what would be in it? It would be all sugar, probably. Starburst <laughs> and Skittles. <laughs> Starburst and, and Skittles. Skittles. That's a wonderful mm -hmm. trail mix. So are you more, <laughs> yeah, are, are you nothing more healthy? <laughs> nothing healthy. Are you all no. more like the sweet or do you do the sweet yeah. and salty? No, I'm all sweet. I, my son, he is all salty, eats no sugar, and I'm the complete opposite. So <laughs> it's very uh, strange. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I love yeah. it. Okay, question yeah. number two. What always puts a smile on your face? Oh, gosh. My husband, I guess, recently. He works out of town, so I don't get to see him that much. And when he does come home, he's home now. That definitely puts a smile on my face. I love that. Yeah. That's sweet. Question number three. What makes you feel unstoppable? Oh, goodness. Um. Oh, I don't know on that one. Let's think about um, where yeah. whenever you're feeling like the most confident, like the most unstoppable. Mm. What is I was, God, I guess, um, you know, when I'm in prayer and stuff, I would say. That's good. Yeah. yeah. God. God, for sure. That's a good one. Thank you. Bonus question. This could win you some free paint. Okay, I'm listening. All right, here we go. <laughs> What's the one thing that may surprise you about Dion? Now, this, this we, I will read off the answers and you pick which one. Okay. What's the one thing that may surprise you about Dion? She knows every word to Your Love by The Outfield. She loves horror movies. She always planned to have five kids. She's never gone to sleep without washing her face. None of these are true. The one that stuck out just from how I see things, I would say the horror movies thing. Okay. That would shock right, me. I've got you down. Yeah. Okay, I've got you down. That's your answer. So at the end, we will announce who actually won. So... Yeah. Okay. Thank perfect. You for That's awesome. So good. Oh, you're, you're welcome. A, you're such a good participant. Thank you. Thank so you much. so much. I had a great time. Thank you. <laughs> um, and Lolly, Lolly, and I think also Lisa Dixon may have nominated you. So thanks. You're wonderful. Ladies. Yes, I will thank them for sure. <laughs> All right, Dave. Have a great weekend. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You too. Nice to meet See you. Bye -bye. You too. Bye bye. All right. There she's gone. She has some good answers. Yeah, she did. And I she think did. Karen's here. I think Karen's Karen. here. Yep, Karen's here already. She's in the waiting room. She's our re she's our returning participant. Hi, darling. Hi there. How are you? I'm okay. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know you've been missing me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> wow, it's in you. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Well, Just good. 
sitting here with my puppies. Got them all wrapped up and bundled up on your blankets? Uh, yeah, Tallulah's kind of like, what are you doing? <laughs> Tallulah, like, don't point that at me. I don't know what we're doing here. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, have you been painting or what you've been doing? Oh, a variety of things. I'm painting a... I'm painting the legs on my end table. My coffee table will be next and a sofa table. Awesome. What a color. Oh, it's, well, it's very boring for you. Well, that's okay. Just a fresh new look, right? Yeah. It's um, just a very soft gray, very soft, light gray. But it's brightening up what you what color it was originally, right? Well, yeah, because well, I don't know if you call it brightening up, but just maybe um, I don't know, just a just a new look. Awesome. Yeah, well, and think... then, then I'll be restaining the tops. And um, I'll let me see. I'll show you. Sure, please do. Okay, let me see if I can get it in view okay oh you're making a box is there, are those transfers karen yeah this is a little jewelry box it's pretty. so the inside has um you know two little trays in it but there's a shop that's in the east mountains mm -hmm. and they're gonna have me teach some classes karen look at you yeah that's fun when were you gonna start doing that well i'll be doing that one like in the near the end of the first week in May. Okay. And then another one a few weeks later, I have to figure that one out. And then they asked me to figure out something for June. So <laughs> I'll probably be doing some things that I wouldn't ordinarily do for myself, but other people like that kind of stuff. So I figured why not, you know, just for the fun of it. Absolutely. Why not? You can do that. Um, you're getting all fancy, says Rob. Oh. Antonia says, I love your haircut, Karen. Oh, my hair has gotten so long. It's growing out. Well, I have an appointment to go um, next week, finally. Yeah, I feel like a mop head because I have so much hair. <laughs> well, which you're lucky. I, that. You're lucky. I like, but when it gets a little bit out you know growing out a little bit it's just you know it just feels like a mop it feels a little heavy i understand well i'm glad that you're on here with us tonight matt's here hi matt hey, Karen. hi there do you yeah. want to ask answer our questions you want to play of course yes all right go, go for if, it if you could make your perfect trail mix what would be in it Okay, probably dried cranberries. What else would you put in it? Um, some kind of peanuts. Peanuts, dried cranberries. Or maybe um, some cashews, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah that would be kind of a sweet. So you haven't mentioned any sugar. No, you know what? I am more of a salt person. I like salty things. Got it. See, so, but that's, that's a real weakness of mine. <laughs> I have to be really careful. I'm sure. Um, I don't know. What do you like in your trail mix? I will release my answers at the end of the video. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's withholding his answers yet, Karen. I okay. love it. Hey, Karen, uh, what always puts a smile on your face? Oh gosh. Just recently, I have been able to spend so much time with my son. Wonderful. And like, um, like I saw him today, I saw him yesterday. And then um, a few days ago, oh, it was on Easter. We went to Flying Star together. And then he came back over here and... We hung, rearranged some artwork on my walls. <clears throat> and I was so emotional when he left, not like crying and all that, but just, I, 
because it's been such a long year. Sure. And it, it's like, I couldn't even go to sleep right away. It's crazy. What do you mean? Um, it just made me so happy <laughs> that I did have a few tears, but I was so filled up that, um, I, I can't even explain it. Sure. You just, you had connection and you, you're, you're, you're getting to be with people, right? The isolation and the loneliness starting to kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's been really bad, especially the last three months or so. Sure. It's like, okay, I've had enough, you know, I made use of my time long enough, yeah. you know, I'm tired of feeling like I'm a recluse, Yeah. you know? So anyway. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you've been spending time with Robbie and um, that makes me happy. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, what, what makes you feel unstoppable? Ooh. Unstoppable. Um, I, you know, that's hard to answer. Um, because I haven't felt especially unstoppable for a while. Um, but I do recall times that I have. Yeah. And it's like when I'm creating something, then it's hard for me to stop. But because of all these times and everything, may, I don't know how it affects other people. But for me, eventually, it just wore me down where I've just been tired all the time, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, but I think doing something that, you know, I just know how to do and it feels good and, you know. And also, when you know you did a really good job, that makes you feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I did this. I'm, yes. I'm good at it. They like it. It's good. I know it's good. And so that was when you felt unstoppable because maybe you could just keep doing that same thing. And um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, good. That's a great answer, Karen. Yeah, I think that's what it is, really. You know, and I would just keep like in that kind of feeling, I just can just keep doing and keep doing, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I do understand that. Good answer. All right. What is the one thing that may surprise you about Dion? She knows every word to Your Love by the Outfield. She always planned to have five kids. She's never gone to sleep without washing her face. Or none of these are true. Well, I kind of think that she's never gone to sleep without washing her face. Is that your final answer? Well, just because of how I kind of know her, I can't believe, you know, you should never say always or never. <laughs> True. You know, so I'm kind of at risk there by saying it. Stop shaking your head yes, Dion. <laughs> I don't know which way to go. I know, but... I just can't imagine that you would go to bed with makeup all over your face. <laughs> so I'll just stick with that. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you down for that. Uh, she never goes to sleep without washing her face. Yes. Got it. Very good. Good, good answer. answer. Good answers all around, everybody. Did you skip one? I did. You did skip some? Unfortunately, I, I didn't realize. I skipped it on Jill and I skipped it on Karen. Oh, I was like, honey, I there were four questions. There, there, I, I know. I'm sorry. It's my bad. I, well, what is it? Um, have you ever won anything? If so, what? Have you ever won anything? Oh, are you asking me? Yeah, he, got, he skipped that question <clears throat> and then he skipped it with Jill by accident. Um. Yes. Yes, I have. And, and then it's, what have you won? Um, I won paint. I was say, I think I've sent you paint before. Yes. <laughs> I remember one time, it's been several years back, 
at least. Um, what is that? Oh, shoot. Um, what is that paintbrush company called? Um, it's, it's not, it's, it's not paint pixie, but zebra zebra. Did you win I, a long time ago? A whole bunch of them. Um, you know what? I won something from them as well. Like a bunch of their brushes. That's what I won. Look at us. We're winners. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Girl, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad that you've been out and about. It's warming up a little bit there, right? Yes. Good, good. I'm glad. I appreciate that. I appreciate you coming on here and being so helpful and playful with us. Okay. I will keep watching. Okay. We'll tell you the see answer you at the end. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, sweetie. Have a good weekend too, okay? Okay. You too. All right, darling. Be bye. safe there. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Jill Nolan chimed in. Oh, Jill Nolan yeah. did? She said, I have never won anything. Ever. Oh, gosh. Jill, you've never won anything ever? She may win tonight. She may do it. This may be the night. This may be Jill's night. It may be, honey. I'm not sure if it will, but it might be. Um, Betty, thank you for answering. Cynthia, I didn't see her question, but I appreciate you, Betty Hills. Um, Normally I'm painting, but on Friday night, I let everybody else come on and talk about themselves. I liked this. I, I don't know, Tasha. I didn't use them. I gave them all away as free gifts because I was already using Paint Pixie. And so I was so grateful, um, but I gave them away as free gifts. I didn't actually use them. We can ask uh, Karen Brown. Um, you want $100 on the lottery, says Cheryl. Okay, let's get someone else up here. Like Rita. Rita won what? She won a gallon of honey one time. A My gallon word. of honey? You know what? That would take me about a week to go through. Love me some honey. I have a son who always wins things, not me. That's crazy. I want granola, pecans, covered raisins, and bugles. <laughs> she knows what she wants in her trail mix. Okay. Um, between 1 and 50. 1 and 50? Got it. Go. 1 and 50. Between 1, one and 50. 50. Lolly says, sounds like everyone won zebra brushes. Yeah, they're they're very generous. They're very generous with their brushes. Beverly Goodman says, my Jack Russell won lots of things. Your Jack Russell? That's pretty cool. The dog. Why doesn't Abby win things? We don't put her in a situation to win anything. My word. I mean, Look at Dion on here. Hey, girl, how are you? Um, between one and 50, I'm looking now. Are you looking? Oh, oh, Val Ward. Val Ward got it? Val Ward on the YouTube. On the YouTubes. Hold on. I'm scrolling. Let me post it. Val Ward. The number was 33. 33. I don't see it. Uh, Donetta Bates. Oh, Hart. there it is. Donetta Bates. Hart. My husband won the Wheel of Fortune jackpot years ago. Get out, Don. <laughs> okay, that's a good story. That is. He won the jackpot on Wheel of Fortune. I've never met anybody that's won that. I always just thought, nah, that stage, nobody ever really wins. That's amazing. Have any, honey, have you ever won anything? Matt? Have you ever won anything? There's the link. I won a few times at the lottery. Nothing. Oh, like the ticket lottery? You yeah. I think I won. John Edison, four hundred thousand dollars. No way. Oh my word. What did he think of Alex Trebek? Val World. Val Alex Ward. Trebek. That's. Oh no, no that's, that's Jeopardy. Jeopardy. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Um, that's her favorite number of all time. You just missed it, Kathleen. He won you, says Kathy Anderson. Thank you, love. Really? Hey, look, Kathy. I'm telling you, I'm going to be walking around these all summer long. I won a cake plate when I was 10 at a carnival. Casino. Oh, at a casino one. I thought he got on the show. But still, that's amazing. 400000 My dear mom's birthday. Okay, 33. That is for Val Ward. I posted the link. Let me know if you have any trouble. Um, 
33 is my favorite number too, Val, says Cheryl Atkinson. Um, congratulations. After taxes, it was 200000 That's That's about right. But still. Let us know. Oh, I know, right? You win it. But now she didn't say how much he spent to win it <laughs> at the casino. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, wait. Lisa, did you block? Wait. Block someone? Or is that a joke? No. Probably okay. Okay, Rohini, Ray Grant, I won 150-year-old mahogany trim boards. Val, are you going to come on? Did you click the link, hun? But you said it was Val Ward, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to going to click the link and come on with us, Val? Oh, we're waiting on you. That's me. What you drinking, Dion? I am. Oh, oh God. Hey, watch it. It's an antique over there. I am drinking detox, daily detox, hot tea. It's a uh, Emily Dickinson. Beauty is not caused. It is. Uh -oh. It's a daily detox. Hi, Dion, Matt, and all of my friends. Tea's here. Val Ward, go, go, go. Uh, Val says, not tonight. Sorry, Dion. Oh, all right. Um, Kathleen Rose, you also picked 33. Do you want to come on? Kathleen Rose? If you win, let me know if you're going to come on and then pick somebody else maybe. Okay, that way we can keep people coming on. I love those scripts on the T. Yeah. Julie Moores, she says uh, she won an all-inclusive trip to Mexico with the morning crew of a Toronto radio station back in the 1990s. <laughs> Val says, I'm in my jammies all day with crazy hair. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Janie, I've had that. And it's just so many people have it. So it's really funny when you're in a crowded area and that happens. What? That ring that I have. Oh, yes. For the text. I do hear it all the time. I see, you know, you see 25 people look at their phones. No, it's nothing. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can get Kathleen up. She has never um, come oh, on before. Yes, we've got some good questions for Kathleen. Kathleen, we have some good questions. Kathleen, click that button and get on here. Boom. So Matt didn't do what he was supposed to do. What are you talking about? He was supposed to tune his guitar and come on here and play for you guys. Remember? He forgot. No, I got it down. You got it down from the, the room. And I he did. started picking at it after the live the other night. And then he was like, oh, my gosh, it's so out of tune. Who's been messing with my guitar? Because the teenagers, they're guilty. They go up there and they mess with it. Uh, so it was totally not tuned. And uh, so now he's like, I need to get it tuned. So um, he started practicing and everything was just a little bit off. It sounded a little awkward. So, so what are you going to do it? So, okay. So what happened was, is I was going to follow through with the commitment, right? I was going to, I was going to practice a little bit. You know, yeah. They my, wanted to hear you play your get guitar. My fingers back in groove because they weren't really working like they should. And then the guitar was out of tune. I set it down and I got busy doing other things. Kathleen's here. Hello. Right. That's okay. I know you did, and you're still going to do it one of these days. Tasha also had 33. Kathleen! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah! Sorry, Matt's talking. I didn't want to talk over Matt. I didn't want to talk over Matt. I can't! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's sweetie. so nice it's so to nice. already talk to you. It's so nice. I want to just give you a hug and put my arms around you. Oh, oh, hold on. Got, got an echo. Um, what, what, oh, Judy? I think that's it. Sorry, I, I had an echo. I had two going at the same time. I don't know what I'm doing, so bear with me. <laughs> Listen, oh. you're, doing every, you're doing everything perfect. That's why we do this is so everybody gets an opportunity to find out what it's like to go live. Um, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. 
And uh, thank you for having me. It's it's lovely to talk to you. I've been following you now for about two years. Thank you. It means so. I've admired you. I've admired you. For, you know, for a while. So it's wonderful. It's wonderful that you um, hang out here with us and that you've joined. And I'm so grateful. Do you also paint, Kathleen? I do. Um, yes, I do. I'm. I've been painting for myself for many years. Um, you know, started off with Annie Sloan, and I'm, I've been a huge fan of hers. Obviously, living in England originally. Uh, that was what I was surrounded with. So uh, I've always painted for myself. And when I, I had my own business when I lived in Charlotte and I painted several pieces for clients. So I did a little bit of that. But um, now I, I've i painted a ton of furniture and my hope is at some point to sell. <laughs> I've got some in a store. Uh, nothing sold yet, but you know I have a huge inventory of furniture that I've painted, and that I have, you know, throughout another house. I have another property, so I've got a ton of furniture that I've been working on. So, and I do, I, I do lots of other things. I let me show you what I've just I'm working on this mannequin. It's not finished yet, but working okay. on this mannequin. Where do you live now, Kathleen? You see? I live in I live in West Virginia in a very very small town. So you know, it's a very small town. It's you know, I live in the middle of nowhere in the country. Um, very very different from when I lived in the UK. You know, I lived in a city, okay. and so um, very different. Yeah, but I love it. I I love it. I I love it here. I love it in the states. Um, I first, when we first moved over, I lived, we moved to Indiana and we actually moved to America for a relocation with my husband's job. Okay. And so we relocated to Indianapolis. Then we did another relocation to North Carolina. And then we bought a, um, like a vacation home in West Virginia. It was like a little old cabin. Okay. And Consequently, we loved it up here so much, we ended up buying a, a long-term home. So we left North Carolina, and now we live in West Virginia. So it's lovely. It's I love it. Absolutely love it. Well, I'm sure that was yeah. a culture shock moving from the UK to where you are. But um, everybody was asking, yeah. where, are you from? where are you from? Because they love your accent. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm from uh, Birmingham originally, like um, Solly Jo. She's a northerner. You know, she's got a she's got a total different accent to me. She's in Leeds, I believe. So I'm what's known as the Midlands, which is right in the middle of the UK. So Birmingham is 120 miles north of London. So it just gives you a an idea of you know whereabouts I was from but yeah so I've been in the States for 20 years and I love it I absolutely love it I get to go back I go back to the UK frequently obviously not last year because of COVID and not this year so far but I go you know I go back two or three times a year and then all my family come here and so you know my sisters and you know yeah yeah. Oh, that's so nice so, that you're able yeah. to travel back and forth like that. So you do still have family there, yeah. right? yes? I do. I So I, I have my mother is alive, 92 and thriving. Oh. Um, all my sisters are there and um, a brother. And um, I have a son, too, that lives in the UK and all of his children. So, you know, I've been... I've been there for every single birth, except for my step grandchildren. I wasn't obviously, I wasn't there for that, but I, I've been there for every single birth of four of the children. Um, so yeah, I have. I have to write it down. I have thirteen grandchildren and two great grandchildren. <laughs> oh my gosh! So I'm not going to quiz you on all their names and birthdays. Oh, I, I, oh, I can't keep up with their birthdays. I'm like, when, when is it his birthday? 
Like it was my grandson's birthday a couple of weeks in the UK and my son messaged me and said, Mom, you do remember it's uh, Archie's birthday, don't you? And I'm like, oh, oh, yes, I'll, I'll get that money to you straight away, you know, and then I'll never call him up on his birthday, you know. I mean, yeah, so it's hard to keep with birthdays. I'm terrible. I mean, my brain doesn't absorb the dates. <laughs> doesn't absorb the dates at all. But let me show you, I've got to show you this. Do you recognise this, Dion? Look, look. Who's this fantastic artist? I can't Quita. see. Quita. I can't see. Oh, it's Quita. Quita and this one. Can you see that? Quita. I've got two of her art pieces. Yes. That looks like our Christmas, you, Christmas tree. See? Yeah, I've just, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in her group. Yeah, I'm, in her, I'm actually in her group now, too. So I'm That's loving it. That's awesome. Well, what a sweet, what sweet surprise. I wanted you to go back to that mannequin and tell us about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is all done with resin mold and then the clay, clay-based stuff. So this is a, a, a mannequin I'm working on. Um, I've painted it with metallic. And then uh, this is all gold. Um, you know, like the gold wax from Prima. Yeah. So all these, all this is molds. And then um, this is another piece that I've done. This is all done with all my jewellery. It's a huge, it's a huge collage that I've done. Um, it's all my jewellery. I don't know whether you can see. Probably can't see that well. I, I mean, I've yet to hang. This is. I'm kind of in my studio, and it's not really set up properly yet. But that's okay. Um, I don't paint my furniture here. I paint my furniture at the other house. Okay. I haven't got it set up. I've got another house, and I, I paint at my other house. So, um, yeah, so I, I, this is my playroom. This is where I get to play. Well, that's <laughs> wonderful. Do you want to uh, – Matt's, yeah. Matt's got some fun questions. Do you want to play with us and play our game? I do. Okay. I do. Yes, I do. All right. Let's question, do it. Question number one, first of all, I love your accent. But Thank you, Matt. Is, what is your, what is, if you were to make trail mix, what would you put in it? Well, when I heard the question, I'd, I've never eaten trail mix in my life. <laughs> and so I, I think it's an American thing. I think oh. it's an American thing. So I've never eaten, I know, I know you can buy it from the store and all of that, but I've never ever, I, I it's just not my go-to. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm curious. What's your favorite? Yeah. So then what is your favorite snack food, Kathleen? Right, okay. Well, I've changed a few things because um, I'm doing a clean eating at the moment. So I no sugar and all of that. So my go-to, my present go-to is... You know, fruit, sumas or bananas or that's my go-to because when I'm craving something sweet, you know, I, I have I've always got my fruit. So yeah. So that's my favorite at the moment. So no sugar and all of that jazz. So it's going really well though. Going really well. That's good. That's gotta make you feel better, yeah. right? All right. Question number two. Yes, always, it is. What, what always puts a smile on your face? <sighs> Oh, well, there's probably a few, and I've had a little bit of time to think. Um, obviously, my grandchildren, that always puts a smile on my face. But probably one of the things where I would laugh the most would be with my girlfriends. Like, I've got a lot of girlfriends back in the UK, and we've got so many uh ridiculous experiences that we've all had together and we've shared in those moments that you know we're on Facebook all the time and we're reminiscing and we are all hysterical laughing do you remember like someone posted the other day they put a picture of me 30 years ago when we was we was actually doing um I used to do a lot of outdoor pursuits with groups of people and I was you know, abseiling and all of that. Well, I, you know, I was scared to death, but I had to do it because I was one of the leaders. And yeah. so one of the one of the ladies put on 
another cat moment because I'm stuck on this rope and we're all hysterical laughing. We're all, you know, we're all talking to one another. So my girlfriends, we go back 30, 30 years and, we've done, you know, so yeah, my girlfriends and my grandchildren. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. <laughs> I love that yeah. so much. Yeah. Question number did, three. Did you see Jamie Ray's answer? No, I didn't. What always puts a smile on? Uh, question number three. <laughs> did, I knew what it. makes you feel unstoppable? Um, let's see. I think I think having my I've got some real close friends, some real close girlfriends, and I've got one friend in particular that she will she'll be the one to say you can do it you can do it and you know and i've done it you know like i've procrastinated on certain things like i've just recently the last 18 months well, not recently but 18 months finally put a cabin up on airbnb and she was the one saying you can do it you can do it so i would say yeah my one of yeah my girlfriend she my close girlfriends who know me dearly and they believe, like when you don't believe in yourself, right? They're the ones that see past. So, yeah, my very dear girlfriend back in the UK. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. That's so yeah. Good. Question number four Have you ever won anything? If so, what? Right. Well, many years ago, I went to a huge banquet. This was back in England. It was like a big, um, banquet, big ball event. It was um, a charity event. Okay. And I went with um, some friends of mine. They bought me the ticket, and it was and it was an incredible event. And we bought a raffle ticket, and I never buy raffle tickets. And I won, so I won a um, a an evening out at this incredible restaurant down, you know, uh, somewhere in London. It was like I had to travel to London to, to go to this restaurant. So it was it was fantastic. And then just recently, I just won from um, Quita some paints. <laughs> I won in the draw. Awesome. So I got some paints. Yeah, they're all here in my little in my little acrylics. Trying to do a critic because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing, but I'm still playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Yes. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Have you got a bonus question? Last question. Last question, sister. What was one thing okay. that may what is one thing that may surprise you about Beyond? She knows every word to your love by the outfield. She always planned to have five kids. Or none of these are true. Well, what about a makeup? Well, see, the other answers have already been chosen. Oh. So oh. since they've oh. already been chosen, you can't. Oh, you can't no. okay. All right. Oh. So maybe the first one then. Maybe the first one, Dion, where you yeah. know all the words to that song. Because I know you like your singing. I know you like your music. So yes. maybe that's what it is. I do like my music. A hundred percent, yes. So, yeah. uh, girl, it has been so nice to meet you. It's just been a pleasure. This was, oh, this, well. this was over. Thank you. Maybe we will meet in person soon. Thank you, Dion. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Nice to talk to you too, Matt. Yes, yeah, all of your answers were spot on. He said that. Oh, he, spot he on? Said, spot on, he said. Spot, he said spot on. Spot on. Okay. Spot on. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you. Bye, darling. Thank <laughs> Bye, Dion. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, ma'am. Bye bye. <laughs> Was she precious or what? Um, one of you asked, it's in uh, Pirates Beach. No. Is it Pirates Beach? Pirates Beach, Texas is the Creative Connection Retreat. The art retreat for the Creative Connection is a separate one. So we're doing two. It is in Crystal Beach, Texas. Uh, I think it was Janet. You've been so busy at your boot camp. You missed it today. There's videos posted all about it, okay? Um, okay, we've, we got to grab one more person.
really quick and I'm going to go with the very first person that gets into the waiting room. So go. If you yes. want to come on, yes. go. Uh, click it now. We're going to run out of time. I'm not sure if the if, if Jamie Ray and... They're in California, baby, with the, all the kids and everything. They're in Cali? They went to Debbie's boot camp. Oh, they went to the boot camp. Yeah, they taught today. Nice. They taught out there today. Uh, uh, I will get that guitar tuned up tonight. We're going to just go with the first person that clicks that link and gets in here. You're just, not going to get it tuned. You can, just, can you tune it yourself? Yes, I can oh. tune it myself. Oh, my gosh. You're so talented. I thought you had to have a tuner. I do have a tuner. Does it work? It just needs batteries. Oh, we have a tuner. Dion, please tell us about your blue paintings in the background. Oh, Val, absolutely. This one I'm still working on. I finished the sky today, but I've got to do the bottom. And then this one is already posted on my website. I started it Sunday night, but I finished it. Um, so you can get better images of it. And that one is called um, I Can Only Imagine. And then this one, I have, of course, not finished it. So thank you for asking. We have um, the first person is Hallie. Hallie got in. Dion, don't go anywhere. I see you in there. Now you stay right there and don't go anywhere. We're going to say hello to Hallie really quick. Hallie won, and then we're going to um, we're gonna say hello to Dion, too. Hi, Hallie. How are you? Good. Your, your grandmama got you on here fast, didn't she? Yes. You want to play our game and, and answer our questions real quick? Yes, ma'am. She would like to play, Matthew. What? If you were to make trail mix, the perfect trail mix, what would be in the trail mix? Do you know what trail mix is? Yeah, you do. That's so we It's got checks and mixes. Would you like to put M and M's in your trail mix? M and M's. I would what? put. It. You like Cajun style? Spicy. Spicy. Hey, spicy peanuts, like spicy peanuts. Those are good. Hallie, tell me this. Hallie, how about we do this? Tell me what your favorite snack is. Um, I like, what do I eat a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn? Donuts? Uh, donuts. Donuts. Do you like chocolate? Uh, Hershey's chocolate bar. I like Hershey's. Well, what's um, grandma's favorite snack? Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs, says Delisa. <laughs> <laughs> no, you... Tic Tacs. Oh, Tic Tacs? Is that a real snack? It's a candy. It's candy. <laughs> it's kind of cheating on candy. I don't know, Delisa. I'm not buying it. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. Okay, next question, Miss Hallie. What always puts a smile on your face? Music. Music. Me. Oh, music. Shoot. Yes. See, that's a great music. Answer. I thought music. it was going to be me. No. Hallie. No. Well, you should sing. Maybe she'd like that. <laughs> we can do a duet sometime together, yeah? Yes. What's your favorite song, Hallie? Girls just want to have fun. Yes, they do. Oh, good song. They yeah. do, girl. Okay, what's next? Um, what Go. makes you feel unstoppable? When do you feel unstoppable, Hallie? Um, After you arm wrestle your brother <laughs> and win? Yes, because you beat him at arm wrestling, right? No. <laughs> maybe when you get maybe when you get an A on your test or quiz at school. I'm homeschooled. You're homeschooled. Are you do you have straight A's all the time? Um, do I? Do I? <laughs> no. Well, that's all right, girl. Maybe when you're listening to your girls just want to have fun, you're feeling pretty unstoppable and pretty pretty happy, right? I think I am when um I I feel unstoppable when on my birthday because on your birthday yes 
That's a perfect answer, sweetheart. I feel that way too. I'm always so happy that it's my birthday and I have all these wonderful people in my life. Like you have your grandma and your mom and dad and your brother and everybody that gets to celebrate with you and celebrate that you were born. And tomorrow's my birthday. Get out. Oh, guess who gets to sing happy birthday? He does. Are you ready? You ready? I'm ready. How old are you going to be? Well, I'm already nine, but it's my party. Okay, oh. so you already had a birthday, but your party is tomorrow. Is there a theme for your party, or is it just like all chocolate cake delish? It, I have a theme. It's what? It's mermaids. Mermaids. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so Matt's going to sing to you. Are you Are you singing with me? Just me. Of course I am. You ready? One and a two and a one, two, three, four. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Sing normal. To you. I can't sing with you. Happy birthday to you. I can't sing you. like that, Hallie. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Hallie. Happy birthday to you. Yay! That was so good. That was so good. <laughs> Happy birthday, sweetie. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Um, Wait, well, bonus question. Bonus question, okay? Now, this is to win paint, sis. Okay. What is the one thing may surprise you about Dion? She's always planned to have five kids, or none of this is true. We're down to our last day. I know. It's kind of hard. You only get two <laughs> options. This is already been taken. Huh? I don't know the answer's already been taken about washing my face. Mama think, Grandmama thinks it's about washing my face. Yes. <laughs> Somebody already took that, though. She says it's already taken. So that's the one that she would have picked. Understood. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, girl. So I hope you have a wonderful birthday tomorrow or, or party tomorrow. Um, save me a chocolate cupcake. Do you have any of those coming? Do you know? Back that macaroons that works i'll take one okay do you want nini to bring it nini Will she come perfect nini? nini i can't wait to see nini next weekend and if she wants to bring me a chocolate macaroon i'm all over it chocolate i don't know <laughs> No, she doesn't need to. I'm hoping that you and your brother eat all of them, okay? Tell him we said hello. Tell him he said tell him we missed him, okay? All right, sweetheart. We'll see ya. Bye, darling. See ya. Bye. Okay, Dion is still there. Thank you. I'm gonna pull up Miss Dion. Are you ready? I'm the only one that can see you. Are you ready? Yes, girl. My friend! <laughs> Well, that's a hard act to follow. Uh, yeah, I'll just see myself out. No, you're saying, I was like, don't you go anywhere. You stay there. Yeah. <laughs> so tell everybody who you are and where you are. My name is Dion Sievers, and I'm officially Demetosphere. That's how you say it, Demetosphere. Demetosphere. I Demetosphere. am so silly, and I can't say her business name properly. <laughs> Demetosphere. You're official okay. now, huh? Yeah, I'm official. It's supposed to encompass uh, all the things I love, which is the cosmos and the microbes. So you got the micro and the macro and everything inside is meta. So, yeah. When I talk to her, I get smarter. Hey, I, she's I, dropping <laughs> some serious science on me. I know, I'm like, so good. Like, hey, she painted a spider today. She hey, painted a spider this bad. Dion, uh, my Dion, didn't do so well in science class. I got a B. That's okay. <laughs> I got That's a B. Good. No, our names are spelled the exact same, Rob. She's in my group now, and she's spelled the exact same way. I believe we were both named after Dionne Warwick. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were. And did you know there's going to be a movie? Like, her life? Did you see that? I didn't know that. Interesting. They're doing, there's an actress, I don't remember her name, I've never seen her before, but they're doing like the life of Dionne Warwick and she's going to be, it's going to be coming out soon. It's our namesake. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I know it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so can you show us some of your artwork? Do you have anything you can grab real quick? Um, yeah, I've been working on the two panels. So I'm not done with the spiders at all. I got a ways okay. to go. Okay, so, well, we want to see, sis. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, Wait. you're good. I'm really, you're good. This. I don't know how to turn it around. Let me see. You can't actually flip it on here okay, because of StreamYard. So it's you're not doing anything wrong. It's just, it's hard. Yeah, we're Dion squared, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yep. So, so yeah, yeah I'm working perfect. on, oh, yeah, it's got a ways to go. Today I've been working on the uh, circles, which are my filaments, but I got to do some gold leafing, trying to make it look more 3D, I guess. Yes. But yeah, I'm really proud of this this spot. That's this really is, good. This is what my happy web. face. <laughs> but yeah. You guys get to see my awful studio. Sorry. No, 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 no. If I showed you my floor right now, you would be appalled. <laughs> but yeah. That is so good. So um, where can people find your business page? On Facebook, right? I'm on Instagram and Facebook. And under um, Facebook, it's the Metasphere Art. Demetosphere. But on Instagram, it's the Metasphere. So yeah. And you can... Okay. Um, my website's listed and all that good jazz. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Look at you just taking a step each week, right? Step further each week. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. I'm so proud of you. We have some questions. Do you want to play? Sure, I'll play. Okay, she'll play. All right. Well, it was very nice meeting you, Dion. I can't see you, but cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dion tries to keep me away from the camera because it might turn into the Matt show before two. Oh, stop it. I've seen you dance. <laughs> <laughs> she says she's seen you dance. She's, oh, no. That means she's probably seen you in your man moo. Oh, and your pain, you know. oh, no. And she still likes me? And she still watches us. <laughs> okay, it's question number one. What would be your perfect trail mix? I like salty sweet. So it'll be with the wasabi, um, like, beans or whatever those are like some sesame crackers and rice crackers probably some raisins yeah that's I, I dig that yeah that sounds good that's really good i think i would grab that too they want yeah. you to spell they want to make sure they're spelling your business name correctly it's it's d-e-m-e-t-a and the word sphere yeah. Laura Maldon Maldonado, thank you. You spelled it correctly and you put it out there with spaces so it sounded it out. It's D-E, not D-O. Um, perfect. Okay, next yeah. question. All right, very good. Um, second question, what always puts a smile on your face? <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing because, yes, I'm married and I have a teen, but what gets me, like, giggly is a good cup of tea because I'm a tea head. I ordered tea from Taiwan. I'm like, I can show you guys my tea set. I'm I'm serious about tea. So I can drink a good aged oolong and I'm like this. She's like in pep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a tea head. That makes You're me so cool, happy. Dion. I okay. I hope my yeah, team knows cool. that. <laughs> I love well, it. Thank and, you. Thank you. I mean, I, I'm a tea girl. And Matt's always like, every time he goes to the health food store, I'm like, can you get me some tea? And he's like, which kind today? I mean, it's just, there are boxes in the cabinet, but yet I want something different. I'm, I got a tea cabinet. It's that bad. Um, yeah, Matt, step yeah. up. Step it up. Yeah, I'm going to step step up. Up I'm gonna have to send you some tea, Dion. I'm going to have to send you some tea. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Question number three. What makes you feel unstoppable? Hmm. My Thank motto you. is, I have variations of this motto, but whatever happens today is today. And I have to leave room for tomorrow. So I allow myself to forgive myself for whatever happens today. So tomorrow is a clean slate. So, yeah. Nice. That's good. That's, That's good. um, is that taking you years to get to that mindset? 
No, I mean, like, is that yes? Always. Oh, you're okay. So this is no, like, no. I'm like, this just happened. Like, you're just born this way, or you have no. you kind of developed this? Well, you know, through strife comes life. So I, I think I was born into this way. I'm gonna say that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's a wonderful answer. I love it. Thank you, Dion. Have you ever won anything? And if so, what? I've won a couple of things, not four hundred thousand dollars, but uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I I'm kind of weird about gam. My husband loves to gamble. If you ever thought he'll be like, and we're in Tampa, he'll be out there. I can't let him know this, but uh, <laughs> but um, I think the most monumental gift that I'm not gift, but win that I ever had is when um, we were in our last duty station in Germany, and I won a regional art competition in the in the whole region the bavarian region it was for um i think it was for a calendar like a nature calendar and i drew a whale it was a killer whale and i won a badminton set i was in sixth grade so it was like validation that other people like my art <laughs> Yeah. 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 I will never forget that. That was amazing. That's amazing. How very special in sixth mm -hmm. grade. And you've never, ever forgotten it because it was totally no. powerful. And I've won other things, but that was, that was special. That was special. Oh, I love that yeah. answer. Thank you. Now the bonus question, there's only one answer. <laughs> Yeah, and it's none of them. It's none of those are true. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. None of those are true. <laughs> okay. If, Good answer. If, if you had, had if you had been given the option, which one would you have picked? Oh, I don't. I don't feel like I know you long enough to know that. But um, because you're so bubbly, I don't know. Any of those could have gone. You could have been like. I love you so much, Matt. I want five kids. I want 20. <laughs> or, I mean, I can see you singing and knowing verse and songs. This is hard. Where's the, all of these easy. are true. Now we're talking free paint here. It's gotta be a good, a good quiz. I love you much. So Matt, let's have five kids. <laughs> I'm going to go with, you know, the words to your That's love by the outfield. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Do that. Do you happen to know that song? I don't I don't remember. Do you what what's the melody? The what is the song? Because that obviously is not the right answer. No. <laughs> I'm like, what are the words, honey? <laughs> Wait, say it again. Your love? Mm-hmm. Oh, you'll know the song. You'll know it, Dion. I um, thought it was, is this the love? That I'm feeling. I thought it was that song, but I was like, that can't be the one. <laughs> no, that's not it. I can't play it. You can't play it? Because we're mean? live. Oh, because we're live. Jason's on a vacation far away. Nah, you don't no. know that song. <laughs> no, no, no. There's so many things that I want to say. You know I like my girls a little bit older. I just want to use your love. love. Tonight. Everybody in our generation knows that song. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's all it is. I was like, I can't remember if I know it or not, but no, exactly. the answer is I have never once gone to bed with makeup on my face. I am so proud of you. That's amazing. I, it's so weird. It's so weird. I said the other day, I was like, you know something I've never done is like got in my bed and not taken off my makeup because I wear makeup every day. So old girl's washing her face a lot, right? I do the same thing. I do the do? I'm I'm it's part of my my bed down routine. Like I'm like, yeah. I'm trying it to get helps. my teen into that and she's like <laughs> Yes, Karen did win. Yeah, it's so important, but it's just my mom taught me that and now I could I could not possibly sleep or fall asleep with makeup on my face. Like I just I don't it's know. More it's a mess. Like, your pillows dirty, probably your sheets. <laughs> Yeah, I just Matt. Yeah, <laughs> on Matt, right? That yeah. doesn't surprise you. Yeah, I, I can't be having that. 
Kathleen's <laughs> that doesn't surprise her. You guys, thank you for all of you for participating and playing and doing all of the questions. I appreciate you so very much. There's a lot of people on here who say they never go to bed without taking off their makeup, but I never have, not even when I was a teenager on vacation, anything, never. Um, I just love washing. I just love getting it clean slate, putting all my oils and all my creams on my eye cream. Now I'm doing, I, I mean, what am I up to like six creams? Dion, Dion, how many do you use? I don't, I use the serums. Yeah. Okay. I'm all serums. about serums, vitamin C, all that, that good stuff. Yeah. That's good. You guys, this yeah. was a wonderful night. Thank you, Dion, for coming on here with us tonight. Uh, Jamie Ray just goes, I don't wash my face. I love you, sister. I love you. She eats bacon and she doesn't wash her face. Uh, are you messing with me, Jamie? She's just saying that. I mean, I do sometimes, but not consistently. It was great meeting everyone tonight, wasn't it? It was. It was great. Kathleen, full of energy. We saw some. Yeah, Karen, we've seen her before. It was so nice to see her again. Uh, everybody, thank you so much. Um, that means Karen Brown. Write that down. Karen got Brown it. gets paint. You got, got it? it? All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful um, vacation. Jamie, you and the kids and Zeb have a wonderful continuation of your trip. I don't know if you're already headed home or if you're headed home tomorrow. Uh, enjoy your San Diego little trip that you're doing. Are they in the car right I now? I miss you. Are they I driving back? Oh, no, they're probably at the hotel. They're at the hotel? Yeah, probably. I bet Zeb is like, get in the car, we're going home. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he's putting his foot down. He's like, mm -hmm. just all the way back. Truck never stopped. That's him. That's him. No. He's hardcore. That's not him. <laughs> Jill Nolan, it was nice to meet you. Um, but anyway, yes, Jamie, y'all have a wonderful time. Everybody have a great night. Wait, Gavin, wait, you look like a Pokemon trainer. What? Beach and barn, Gavin. Beach and barn. Gavin, when you get settled, give me your new address because I owe you, um, $350 worth of paint that this entire group sent to me. So let me know when you have an address and I can send you some DIY paint. Everybody take care. See ya. Rob says that is hardcore, right? <laughs>